Hello, Interweb. I'm the Weed Guy, and I'm proud to say I'm going to tell you today how to make Rick Simpson or Phoenix Tears oil. People all around the world are trying to cure themselves of cancer or just to get the benefits of medical cannabis, and they want to know how to get their hands on Rick Simpson oil. I get emails all the time. So I want to demystify how easy it is to use cannabis medicinally to ingest it. First of all, it's very, very easy. Mr. Simpson, you've done great things to push the use of cannabis to heal cancer and other different ailments. Cannabis has over 80 different cannabinoids. They don't even know how many in there because they're just beginning to allow a lot of studies going into cannabis. Places like Israel, someplace in the States and Canada are actually studying cannabis. Even though it's been used for thousands of years, man's been using it since before religion to speak with God. That's been proven in the Turpan Mountains. They have the wizard mummy who was found with 789 grams of cannabis. It's the oldest pharmaceutical use of cannabis ever discovered. I've actually been there. So basically, in order to ingest cannabis and metabolize it, you have to get rid of the oxygen molecule. So Mr. Simpson has published many videos. There's lots of videos online. You can research on how to make it on YouTube. There's an actual couple videos that can show you how to do it. I'll put a couple links in the description of the video of this video down below. That's after you hit the like button and the subscribe button, then you can push on those links. But basically what you gotta do is you take some material, like so. This is uh, trim, basically, that I'm able to purchase. I also grow cannabis, for those of you that did not know. I have a federal license because I had a bone marrow transplant and I turned type one diabetic after I had full body radiation and four rounds of chemo. So I use cannabis for neuropathy in my feet and also to help me eat in the morning because I'm always on insulin. I uh, take insulin injections ever since I had my transplant. Uh, so I'm lucky to be alive and that's why I use cannabis medicinally for those of you that wonder. I do use it recreationally. If I'm bored, I do get high. So I get comments on my videos about people wondering about stuff like that. Um, so basically you take some sort of material like this um, and then you can rinse it with Alcohol. You can buy alcohol in the store. I get grain alcohol from a source that I've been able to source out. It's pure alcohol and it's made with grain. And it's a more edible alcohol rather than getting like the 99% alcohol that you get say in Costco or wherever. So uh, you take that, you soak it with your material and then you take the material and strain it either with a coffee filter and then you put it in a rice cooker outside because it's very, very, very flammable. And then you cook it down to your, down to something like this. Now the big secret, as you can see online, is they put water in it when it's done cooking out. Then you're just left with what you've taken out with the alcohol from the plant. And uh, by heating it up with some water in it and cooking off the water, it activates it. It gets rid of the oxygen mo molecule, which means you can ingest it. It's the same thing as baking something like this would also activate it. And uh, you could mix it with butter or an oil, and that'll remove the cannabinoids that are in this plant, and then you can ingest it. So that's basically how I wanted to demystify how cannabis is able to metabolize in your body. It's by heating it up, not overheating it so that you burn all the cannabinoids are in it. You need to slowly heat it up. Uh, if you do it in an oven, there's lots of videos that will show you how to activate it until it, it turns a golden color. And then you can use key for plant, even like this. You could take this and simply put it in your food and just heat it up. And uh, it helps if you have fat in it. Uh, that helps you to be able to metabolize it. So that's why you see a lot of people use milk products when it comes to making cookies and stuff like that. People make butter. Uh, they soak it with the plant, then they, they uh, strain it, and it's heated up, and then they can use that butter uh, in whatever it calls for in the recipe, and then you can eat it. So that is how you make Rick Simpson oil, is by taking water at the end of making honey oil and activating it by heating it up. I'm going to put a link of a video I've watched. There's actually a bunch of them. Um, YouTube and the internet is a wonderful way to learn about cannabis and also how to source it. I use the internet all the time when I want to learn something. If I want to research how to make 
like say weed candy and stuff like that i went on the internet there's lots of people in california and all over the world that use cannabis medicinally and the internet is a great source on how to teach yourself how to make different things and how to learn and the other thing you got to do is just go and try and do it um, i don't know why weed is illegal still um, it's been proven to be safe there's lots of things that are way more deadlier than cannabis like cigarettes like car emissions, like Doritos, like a whole bunch of crap on this planet. Marijuana is the least of our worries, and I really, really, really hate it when somebody's like angry that I'm smoking a joint and there's a car right beside them and you could go stick your mouth around the car exhaust and die and they're worried about my joint smoke. So when it comes to cannabis, it's been used for thousands of years and I really think it's time that it gets legalized just for the simple medical use alone and also as an antidepressant or to heal boredom is a good enough excuse in my eyes. Um, Mr. Nader from the Tree T-shirt giveaway, I want to let you know that your stuff I put it in the mail a couple days ago, so it's on its way. And today I wanted to give away another T-shirt. Actually, this time I got um, a new golf shirt. Look at that. And uh, I get emails all the time, fan mail. And I'm going to send it off the grinder to... Da, 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 da. Sorry, i got to get his name right here. Mike Lisinski. Um, I'll read you his letter. I think I figured it out, man. I just wanted to tell you first, your positivity has brought me out of depression. It was absolutely fate that I discovered your existence. And furthermore, it couldn't have happened at a better time. Winter drags me down. I am a chronic, chronic hepatitis B and C patient. My body attacks itself unless heavily medicated with cannabis. The difference in medicating and is not as night and day is keeping me alive. I cannot eat nor keep food down without this powerful plant. Wonderful plant. Also, the recipes for cooking with cannabis alone I watch have helped me greatly. Yummy stuff to you. I can't thank you enough. I get a great vibe of energy from all your footage. Not just a clip here or there, but all. I check your channel all the time to wait to see a new video. Blah, 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 blah. He sent me a huge, long, awesome email. Mike, thank you so much for your wonderful, kind words. This is what motivates me to make, make videos. I also wanted to point out that I am a YouTube partner, but I do not do ad share. I do not want commercials in my video. Uh, it's not a lot of money, to tell you the truth. I have 80,000 subscribers almost, and uh, to be honest, you'd make maybe five or $600 or something stupid like that. YouTube doesn't even want you to talk about how much money you make, but really, it's fuck all. It's not worth having commercials in my videos. Plus, I worry they'll take my account down because they still don't see medical marijuana as a legitimate subject to be putting into videos. They don't think it's family oriented, and I've had issues with YouTube in the past. They took down my Weed Guy account, so quite frankly, I make videos for myself. I, I make it as a therapeutic process for me to be able to look back on my life and see the wonderful things I've done. I also do it to connect with people and I love the attention and I love to be able to inspire people to live in the now. When I was 21 years old, I came down with stage four lymphoblastic lymphoma. I almost died. They gave me a couple months to live. I had a tumor in my neck. My whole lympho system was inflamed with cancer. It was in my bone marrow. I subsequently had four months of one month rounds of chemotherapy with five or six different drugs. I had nine spinal taps where they put methyltrexate in my spine. And then I had full body radiation to kill everything in my body, every single cell. And then they gave me my own harvested stem cells back into my bone marrow. It's called an autogenous bone marrow transplant if you want to research that. And then my stem cells began to reproduce all my blood cells again and I was cancer free. And I had to deal with all that treatment and what it did to my body. It made me type 1 diabetic, which means I stop producing insulin and I take insulin injections. And that is why I use cannabis. I don't sit here and whine and complain about what it's done to my body. Instead, I am grateful to be alive. I realize that there's always somebody worse off than you are. And that's the key to life is to try and stay positive and manifest what you want out of life. Thoughts become things. That's the law of attraction. When I want to get something done, I envision how it's going to get done. I make that goal. I learn from others that have been successful at that goal. And I come up with a plan to actually become successful at whatever I want to do. Thoughts become things. And I can't stress that enough to you. I do not make money off of making my videos when it comes to ad share. Okay? I have had sponsors pay for plane tickets. 
I have had people help me say like Skunk Magazine when I went to Jamaica. They put me up there at the poor resort and I was able to have a wonderful time there. So I always just make it happen whether it be saving for a plane ticket, my girls bought me tickets, I've had lots of support over the years, or I just have a job and I work hard. I'm the president of iMedicate. Even that's not very profitable. We're a non-profit society. And I'll tell you, there's an 80 billion dispensaries now in Vancouver. It's a wonderful reason for you to come down here and try your very cheap cannabis. We have the best marijuana in the world. It's of the same quality as California, Colorado, and Amsterdam. But what's great about Vancouver is our prices. We have very cheap cannabis here because of the, such a growing culture of marijuana. So that is one reason to come down here. You get $5 grams. Where I heard in the States it could be up to $20, but don't quote me on that. But that's one wonderful reason why to come to Vancouver. So... Without further ado, I want to remind you to send me emails. I love hearing what makes you happy and why you like watching my videos. I want to remind you to live in the now and enjoy life like there's no tomorrow. And I want to remind Mike Lazinski to thank you so much. I'm going to send you one of these golf shirts with some other goodies. You can do the same thing. Like my video, share it, show me how you shared it and liked it. Subscribe if you like my videos. And I'm going to do a crazy hot box. I almost forgot. I got a big chunk of butter here. This stuff has some really good kush, purple kush. Look at that chunky. And I got a whole whack load of Rick Simpson oil right here. Yeah, I'd say that's two or three thousand grams of Rick Simpson oil. I ingest it. So I'm gonna take some, we're gonna have a crazy hot box. I wanna remind you to enjoy life, live in the now, like there's no tomorrow, okay? Make sure you enjoy life. Don't whine and complain. Life's about a bunch of moments. That's what makes you have a great life, is being as positive as possible and enjoying as many moments as you can. Have food with your friends, enjoy each other's company, don't bitch and complain. Please, I beg you, remain positive. There's always somebody worse off than you are. For me, I live in Canada, I got wonderful free medical treatment. I know it's a quarter of a million dollar for a transplant in the States alone. In some countries, you wouldn't even get treatment. So I am grateful no matter what, just to be alive. And so should you. Live the now and enjoy life like there's no tomorrow. Yeah!